General! He doesn't appear to be on this floor. Hmm? <laughs> Are you quite sure you checked everywhere? Yes, sir. Please, believe me, General Epi. Hmm. If that's the case, then it must be in the engine room. Epi? I knew it! What's this? I think I spy some sneaky little rats. You lot. Bring them before me. Yes, sir. Yeah, they've seen us. Damn it. Too late to run now. Looks like we're in for a fight. What? How pathetic of you to lose to the likes of a lowly demon. Shame on you. Shame. Hey, where did you go? Come out and get your knuckle sandwich. Hmm. It seems that demons lack not only any semblance of intellect, but a sense of humor as well. What the heck is that supposed to mean? It means you're in way over your head! Now it's time to put you in your rightful place. <sighs> hey, are you alive? Y yeah, just about. Oh, damn Epi. Risking our lives. He's more evil than the demons. About the demons. What do we do? Get rid of them? And we get cursed with seven years of bad luck? <laughs> Heck no. Let's get back to the engine room before Epi bites our heads off. <sighs> what are we doing with ourselves? Taking orders from that guy? <sighs> Looks like they're gone. That half stash is gonna pay. <laughs> Let's follow them. I don't feel comfortable leaving them alone. <laughs> You're finally mine! This guy needs to chill. He's so over the top. What's that in his hand? Is that what he was after? Oh no. You've got to be kidding me. What is... Oh! Aquanium! Put it on the ground carefully. The slightest bump could trigger a massive explosion. Oh, really? <laughs> you mean like this? No! Oh, everyone, get down! <laughs> you fools! It's been out of the Aquanium Furnace for quite some time. This stuff will only explode at high temperatures. You... you think that's funny, you jerk? Hand over the Aquanium. It's not something humanity can be trusted with. Oh, of course. As if. Do you take me for a fool? Don't worry, old man. I'll get it back by force! <laughs> Go ahead and try. I'll humor you for now. I'm in a good mood. We absolutely cannot hand over the equation. We can't let it cause yet another tragedy. Like a 
month before, and at the least, I'll battle. Gotta shoot him down while he's jumping! Hey, what do you even need it for? That's none of your business, so I'm not telling. Punch your lights out! S someone help! Save me from this frightful fiend! What? Come back! The punishment for desertion is death! The man's clearly a popular leader. Said your prayers? <laughs> Is it that everyone we fight is so good at running away? I'll inform Ari. We'll let the army pursue Epi. The Aquanium is our top priority now. There might still be some left in the engine room. Let's go check. The one we got back from Epi must have been the only one. Does every battleship have one? Wait. That's it! That's why they went for Zeus' ship! What do you mean? Zeus' personal battleship isn't as big as the Lisab battleship, but it's still huge. Anti-grav stones alone wouldn't be enough to fly it. But Aquanium? That could probably do the trick. Uh-huh. So where are you going with this? They broke into Zeus' mobile fortress to steal the Aquanium. Now that we know what they're after, it's easy for us to retrace their steps. Ah, gotcha. If Aquanium is involved, this is a national emergency. Is it really that dangerous? Do you know about the great explosion of 30 years ago? I heard you mention it on the radio, but no, not really. It was a gigantic explosion, which destroyed a vast area. And the cause, or rather, the fuel used to generate it, was a quinium. I had no idea. Mm. You seem to know a lot about it. Hmm? Sorry to pry, but it feels like there's more to the story. Hmm. You don't trust me enough to tell me? No, don't be silly. It's not that. It's just... I understand. I'm sure you have your reasons. There's something I haven't been able to bring myself to tell you, either. Do you bring that up now because you're ready to tell me? I will. When we get back to Spino. You're right. Let's get back. Well, well. Looks like Epi blew it big time. Let's get moving, guys. Oh, you were here. Why didn't you come into town? The people of Spino aren't exactly the biggest fans of the Royal Army. Not that I can blame them. Any updates on the current situation? We ran into that armed group at the Lisab battleship. What? So that smoke must have been their doing. It's fine, though. We thumped them good. My apologies that you had to deal with them. That's our job. We had our hands full, subduing the detachment of enemies who went north. With the royal army in chaos, we barely managed to fend them off. They'll likely rejoin and cause more unrest. They're with Zeu. But who are they? No idea. All we know is that they're both well-organized and well-armed. They're the Forestland Army. But that's impossible. We signed an armistice with Forestland decades ago. I also find it hard to believe, but... They called their commander General. That only adds up if they're part of a large, official military. Mm, yes, but what makes you so certain that it's the Forestland Army? Well... Don't feel you have to share it here if it involves your secret. Thanks. 
I think he should know too, though. I see. In that case, shall we talk in your garage? General Ari, would you mind coming alone? Understood. Please, lead the way. All right. Follow me. All right, then. Let's hear it. The reason I can be so sure they're from Forest Land is because I'm also originally from Forest Land. What did you say? You mean, you're an illegal immigrant? What do you mean, illegal? Basically, it means she's not allowed in this country, but snuck in anyway. Wow. Now that's bad. Why did you decide to come here on your own? I didn't. Some of my friends came with me, but I was the only one who made it. And what compelled you to take the risk of coming to Sandland? I wanted to find people willing to help us overthrow the Forest Land government. What? You're trying to stage a coup d'etat? No! They are the ones who stage the coup d'etat. Who's they? The ones who took over the government and imprisoned kind King Jam out of nowhere. The Forest Land Army and its Supreme Commander, Bread. So now we, the Resistance, are fighting to take back our country. We've crossed blades with that General Epi you fought on the Lisa battleship before. What do you think, General Are? I'll admit, it does line up with our intel on Forest Land. It's perfectly plausible. I think so too. The timing of all this makes total sense. The wake of Zeus' downfall would be the perfect time for a rival nation to move against us. But surely, they must realize the severe consequences of such aggression. What could possibly motivate them to take the risk of invading us? Aquanium. What? Impossible! Our entire supply was lost in that explosion 30 years ago. That's not so. The Lisa battleship was powered by Aquanium. And I'd bet good money that Zeus' mobile fortress was as well. We kept them from taking the Lee Saab battleship's Aquanium. But if they loot the fortress... I'll be damned. That Zeu. Is there no end to the secrets he was keeping from his own army? I'm going back to the capital to request permission to mobilize the entire army and to ensure our ranks are free of moles. What about the Aquanium? That's up to you. Though I'd feel safer if it were in your hands. Understood. Now, it's my turn to share something. Once you've collected yourselves, come speak with me. Would your army consider joining forces with us, the Resistance? I'm sorry, but I can't commit to that here and now. You're asking me to make a choice that would affect the entire nation, and that isn't a decision that can be rushed. In any case, I don't have the authority to make such a call. I see. I've been thinking. Rather than just talking, there's something I should show you. Will you come with me? Sure. But where? The site of the Great Aquanium Explosion. Oh. All right. I'll come. What the heck is this? Hmm. This is worse than I expected. No way. You mean, Aquanium did all of this? That's right. It caused the massive explosion that obliterated everything in the area. And the one who pulled the trigger on that bomb was the commander of the Royal Army Tank Corps. Me. <laughs> oh, I see. Why did you want us to come all the way here? I wanted you to see for yourself just how dangerous Aquanium is. That sounds like a perfectly good reason, doesn't it? But really, I think I was just afraid. You're a pretty tough human, though. What are you scared of? Having to face up to this irreversible crime of mine all by myself. But I'm glad we came. Now I'm all the more certain that Aquanium technology is too dangerous for humans. Yeah, and that bread guy wants to get his hands on loads of it for something. 
A single Aquanium capsule did what we see here. He'll be completely unstoppable if he gets his hands on any more. Oh no! But then, how will I save my father? Father? Oh, um, I mean... That's enough chit-chat. And you are? Nice of you to ask. The name's... General Croa. Uh, oh, so you've heard of me. Guess I am pretty popular, huh? So this is the Forest Land Army's general? If you know who I am, let's cut to the chase. I'm gonna need you to hand over that Aquanium to me. This is my first time seeing a demon up close. Orders are a pain. Wish you and I could have gone head to head. I'll take you on anytime, anywhere. Don't move. I won't give you another warning. <laughs> Old man, thief, Anne. Don't bite your tongues. Are you? I said don't move. Hey, that hurts. Right? Whew, almost had me. But playtime's over. Wrong. I'm just getting started. What? Is everyone all right? That was reckless even for you, Prince. Yeah, no kidding. Huh? Where's Bielz? <laughs> I got sand in my mouth. Anyway, where are we? Ruins, it looks like. I never thought all of this was under our feet. We don't have time for sightseeing. General Croa and his troops can't be all that far. Let's find a way out before we're spotted. I guess the classics never go out of style. No pointy stakes lining the bottom, though. At least they were humane enough not to impale us. Seems like you spoke too soon. Uh, we might be in trouble here. I'm starting to think we'd have been better off fighting the Forest Land Army instead. What are you doing, Prince? Time to throw down. Huh? Like I said, time to fight! Quiet! I see. You guys are scared too, aren't you? Sorry for startling you. We mean you no harm, I promise. What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Incredible. Well, I'll be... Plucked from the jaws of death by a little girl. J just got lucky, I guess. Wait, I know! They must have been so scared of me that they ran off! Sure, if you say so. Let's find the exit already. Hmm. A person couldn't fit through that crack. Hey, Anne. This reminds me of when we found that Don Terrano. You talked to it somehow then, too. Yeah. Sometimes I can hear what the animals and bugs are saying. It's like we can understand each other in a weird way. You can communicate with animals? Just like Prince's older sister, Lilith. She had a similar power as well. 
No secret doors either, huh? Wait, Bielz. Your sister's name is Lilith? Yeah. That's funny. Your sister has the same name as my mom. What? It's no use. I can't find an exit anywhere. And what's your father's name, young lady? Why do you want to know that? Don't worry. Just tell us. Jam. Wait, isn't the King of Forestland named Jam? Yeah. Bred imprisoned my father. And I'm fighting to free him. I knew it! You really are Fiend Princess Lilith's daughter! What? My mother was a fiend? Hold on. Your father's King Jam? You're a princess? What? what? Dummy! You just had to raise a rat! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you again. I knew it. That's the same power Lady Lilith had. Uh-huh. And I knew you smelled weird for some reason. How can you be so calm about this? A human marrying a fiend? Eh, it happens. Seriously? Anyway, that's not important. This is my mom we're talking about. If she was a fiend, then that makes me... Half human and half fiend, yes. The math adds up, but... Why? Is being a demon such a shameful thing to you? I didn't mean it that way, but it really complicates things. You do hate it, don't you? Save it for later. We have to think of a way out. Hey, these things can understand what you're saying, right? How about asking them if they know how to get out of here? Um, sure, okay. I can try, but don't get your hopes up. Sorry for scaring you, again. We would like to leave ASAP. Do you know a way out? If you do, then could you please show us? It's open! Nice, Anne! Yeah, wish I could be as happy as you. The thing is, this discovery just threw a wrench into everything the Resistance stands for. Protecting the country from fiends. That was how Brad justified his coup. He claimed Queen Lilith was a fiend who was controlling King Jam. We all thought it was a lie. That's why we kept fighting. But if my mother, our queen, really was a fiend... It calls the Resistance's whole raison d'etre into question, doesn't it? That's nonsense! Lady Lilith would never enslave a man, much less an entire country. I'd like to believe you. I would, but with my mom gone, we can't prove anything. Gone where? What's my sis been up to while all this is going on? She's dead. The Forestland Army claims a brave hero slew her. Huh? That's ridiculous! As if sis would ever lose to a human! Not even I could beat her! Not once! You say that, but it's the truth that ten years ago... Mom disappeared without a trace. No way! Thief! We're finding my sister! Say no more! You mean, you're coming with me to Forestland? Uh, yeah. Guess so. <laughs> Seems we all have the same destination. You're coming too, Ro? Absolutely. I've got to get that Aquanium back. Yes! I couldn't hope for stronger allies. Just to be clear, I'm not gonna help your re resistance. And sure, oh, it's like having a whole army on our side. Are you even listening? So you finally showed. Took you long enough. She got here before us. My boys might be speedy. But none of them can even hold a candle to me. Nowhere for you to run this time. Hand over the Aquanium, and don't get any funny ideas. Ha! 
Sounds like you've got a wrong one. You're no match for us without being surrounded by your troopers. Wow, someone's real brave now that you've got me outnumbered. Didn't know you were such a coward. You... Who are you calling a coward? Shall we dance, my... Little red devil friend? Touch this! It looks like his engine's designed to be light, not durable. I think any damage to it should slow him down. Bad. How about a Molotov? the enemy's movement. Finch! The corner! Drive him into the corner! Don't let him take you out, Bio! What's the matter? Afraid you can't keep up? Not bad, Mr. Pitchfork. Gotta say, you'd make a great recruit if you weren't a demon. <laughs> Me? Army material? Can't lose to such an insufferable human! Is that all? Dodge this! Keep up, huh? Good, Prince. Just a little more. How about a Molotov? Why did you just save me? Y you're a citizen of my beloved country, too! Yeah. Hey, a demon rescuing a human? Is this some kind of sick joke? <laughs> oh, I see. Wanted to deliver the finishing blow yourself? Fine, go ahead. You've earned the right. Behels isn't like that. They're saying you're under a fiend's spell, but it sure doesn't look that way. The demons I heard about in stories are nothing like you guys. Anyhow, let's call this your win. Just know, it won't go like this next time. <laughs> Keep trying, you'll never win. Uh, by the way, Bielz. Huh? I've been calling you Bielz, but you're my uncle, right? Don't go calling me Unc! Oh, ho, ho, Uncle Bielz. It's got a nice ring to it. Then you've got to start calling her Lady Anne, thief. She's Lilith's kid, after all. Uh, yes, of course. But, I mean, after all we've been through. Okay, this is getting weird. Let's just stick with our old names. If that's all right with you, I'm all for it. Hey, old man, when are we heading to Forest Land? I'd like to say soon, but I still have business to take care of. Weren't we all done here? We'll talk once we get to Spino. Sorry, but I need to rest. Pushed yourself too hard, huh? I'm more worried about you. I'm fine. <laughs> you youngsters. Takes more than an epic adventure to wear you out. Me and Thief are older than you, and we're not one bit tired. 
You guys are the exception to every rule. <sighs> Good thing we have this safe place to rest. So? What was it you wanted to do? Before we enter forest land, I want to make sure we retrieve all the aquanium in Sandland. You mean there's more? I suspect so, but I can't say for sure. I don't get it. Sandland used two battleships in the Great War. One of them was the Lisa battleship, and the other was the Merrick battleship. Ah, uh, I see. So those battleship's aquanium power sources might still be inside them. It's a possibility. Going off their previous actions, it seems the Forestland Army is well aware of the locations of Sandland's Aquanium. I don't know if they've made it to the Merrick battleship in the far northeast yet, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Can't you tell General Are and leave things to the Royal Army? I could, but it would be quicker to go there ourselves. And we're stronger anyway. Maybe you're right. Their guards were losing, weren't they? In that case, while you all go and get the Aquanium, I'll stay behind and wrap up our preparations here so we'll be ready to leave at a moment's notice. That would be a great help. Thanks. What are we going to do with the Aquanium we've already got? The Forestland Army might come after us if we keep it on us. You have a point, but I don't know where we could hide it. Maybe we could ask Mayor Tor. Good idea. Let's try that. Hey, old man. Where would you hide treasure if you never wanted it to be found? A place to hide treasure? Has you roped you into some kind of treasure hunt? No, sadly. It's nothing so fun. Well, what are you trying to hide? You don't want to know. I see. It must be quite the treasure indeed, then. Well, you can use the secret room in the West. I'll uh, draw you a map. We used it to hide our arms and such during the Rebel Army days. I'd feel far safer with it there. I'll go and hide it for you. You're in a hurry, right? Leave it with me. You're gonna be all right on your own? Aw, oh, look at you, all worried about your knees. Shut up! I'm not! Knees? Uh, oh, it's just an inside joke. Anyway, I'll take care of hiding the stuff. See ya! Take cover! The swimmers? Hey! It's you guys! What are you doing here? That's our line! What are you up to? I bet I know. You were eavesdropping, weren't you? You were fixing to go and get your hands on the Aquanium first, weren't you? Uh, well, yeah, but... I mean, not anymore! Uh, no one told us it was being guarded by that! Tough talk for a bunch of cowards. Never mind them. Let's worry about ourselves. It sounds like there's something up ahead that even the swimmers couldn't handle. than they could chew. That's the stuff. Tiles hurt our bot's durability. Find the tiles where there's no current. 
That's the stuff. a piece of cake. Wow, just what I'd expect from the Fiend Prince. I thought you ran off. My gut told me to come back and guard the Aquanium from baddies. Yeah, right. You just wanted to grab it for yourself. You think we're just gonna let that slide? No! Listen! It's true. I do want to protect it. Well, we were planning on selling it to that armed group at first. Shut it, Sonny! They don't need to know that! I mean, I knew it'd fetch a fine price if I sold it, but I reconsidered when I realized someone could use it for something as awful as that disaster 30 years ago! Besides, I have a few contacts in the Forest Land Resistance. Hmm. He seems to be telling the truth. I am! So can you help us gain entry to Forest Land? That I can't do. Joining forces with you would be collaborating with the Royal Army. I'd never be able to face my friends in the Rebel Army again. That's understandable. If it's any consolation, you can have this. It's the core frame for a hoverbot. Are you sure, Papa? We went to all that trouble to find it. We're the swimmers. We don't need a bot for crossing water. Thank you. It's much appreciated. Huh. Well, I doubt we'll meet again anyway. See ya! Now then, let's get to searching for that Aquanium. Hey, old man! Found it! Now we've found all of the Aquanium in Sandland. So now it's time to throw fists? It looks like we're gonna have to make it past the border first. Anne would know how to do it. She snuck across the border before, after all. Right. Let's get back to Spino. What? What? In the... The smell of gunpowder. Spent shell casings. There's been a battle here. The Forest Land Army! Damn! You think the town's okay? Mayor Tor, what happened here? I have no clue. This forest land army showed up out of nowhere, demanding Aquanium. When I said we had none, they started firing. Who brought him here? The guy with the scar? Half stash? No, their commander was a woman, cold as ice, and absolutely merciless. You held out well against them. Rebel army experience, I guess. It's not that. It was Anne who saved our town. Anne did? She surrendered, saying she'd lead them to the Aquanium. When was this? Not so long ago. Old man, you remember that map of the secret room in the West? Yeah. All right. In addition to Epi and Croa, there's this other third commander. Troops are flowing in like the border doesn't exist. The chaos from Zeus Aster might be what gave them the chance. Isn't that ironic? Even that guy might have been useful in his own way, huh? Fighting fire with fire, eh? I hate to admit it, but it makes sense. Huh? I hear something. Over here. Huh? Was this the wrong way? It's so hard to tell. It all looks the same. Enough of this. Deception ill befits a princess. Cease the stubbornness for your own good. So you recognize me? Even though it's been ten years? Of course. You may look older, but what's inside has not changed a bit. The way you smile, how you talk, your endless naivete. But you have changed, Rosetta. 
You used to be so kind. To change is to be human. I would say you're the odd one for remaining so static. In any case, that's enough pointless chit-chat. We have an Aquanium radar back in forest land. There is no point in continuing this charade. We'll just see about that. The girl escaped. Seize her! Bios! General Rosetta! There are demons here! Pull yourselves together! Remember General Effie's report! Demons are no match for the illustrious Rosetta Brigade. Have no fear! Attack! Damn! Victory will be mine, by any means necessary! We won't give in. For the honor and glory of our general! You wanna go at it again? Stop right there! Sorry, I messed up! Don't move. I was unsure if taking a hostage would face demons, but seems it has turned you into kittens. Everything you've heard about demons is untrue! You truly haven't changed. Still the same old bleeding heart you used to be. And you, Rosetta. I don't even recognize you. No, you freaks know where the Aquanium's hidden, do you not? Good. Bring it to me, or else. No! Don't do it! Forget about me! Keep the Aquanium safe! Afraid I can't do that, Anne. My sis would eat me alive if I let anything happen to you. Yells! Prince. What? You trying to say we can't give this up just to save some girl? I would never. We can't leave Lady Lilith's daughter in the hands of her enemies. <clears throat> After all that trouble to get our hands on this Aquanium, we're just gonna fork it over to them? Not all of it. All we're giving them is this one capsule. Huh? After all, they still don't know that we also got the one from the Merrick battleship. And what they don't know, they won't get. I see. <laughs> Serves them right. We have it here. Then throw it to me! We did what you said. Now let Anne go. Now why would I do that? I made no such promise. What? But we gave you the Aquanium! Did I say I'd release her in exchange? <laughs> As if I would ever negotiate with demons. Then what are you gonna do with her? Like I would tell you, demon. You... <sighs> You okay? Them again? Don't move! Follow me and the princess will pay! None of you are to move a muscle until we are fully out of sight. Damn, I thought I busted up every last one of their tanks! Looks like some of them just pretended to be out of commission. They got us good. I know how you feel, Prince, but get a hold of yourself. We still have a chance to get Anne back. That's exactly right. We know where to find more Aquanium that we can use as a bargaining chip. Bargaining schmargaining. It's about time we pounded them into dust. That's the spirit. That's probably Are. We'll rendezvous at Spino and discuss our next move. Ugh. <sighs> 
there you are. You don't look so good. Anyone can tell you've barely slept for weeks. You don't look so chipper yourself. A lot's happened. What? They took Anne? And the Aquanium too? The, they're not going to hurt Anne, right? I can't say for sure. We'll have to go to Forestland after them. Would you be able to help us get across the border? The border's currently a powder keg. There's only a small sliver of land beyond the big dam where our territory and forest lands meet in the first place. And with our armies at a standoff, not even a scorpion could slip through. Let us at him! We'll just force our way through! If you attack at the Flashpoint, it'll look bad, like we've allied with the demons to attack forest land. Then we really would be giving them a pretext for war. I think that horse has left the stable, Sonny. That's kind of a tricky subject, you know. Our forces aren't organized. We can't risk all-out war yet. So we can't go to Forestland? Is that what you're saying? Well, there is one way. Have you ever heard of the Cardamo Subterranean Lake Ruins? Dunno. Maybe? Underground ruins north of the dam. They lead to Forestland. Problem is that they're flooded. Now that the river's back, I don't know whether you can make your way through. At the very least, you're going to need some sort of boat. In that case, we've got the perfect ride! The Hoverbot! But we only have the core frame. Without Anne and blueprints, we can't assemble the bot. Well, in that case, allow me to lend a hand. I still have the plans from when I was helping Anne. Plans for a Hoverbot? That's awfully convenient. It's designed for crossing over quicksand, but it'll work. Really? Well, the Peachy know their bots. That we do! I'll stage a little distraction on the border. That should draw their attention away from the ruins. Appreciate it. I've done it! I finished the hoverbot! All right! Forest land, here we come! What do we do about the Aquanium? Should we stash it somewhere again? No. We better keep it with us. They said they've got an Aquanium radar back in Forest Land. If that's true, trying to hide the Aquanium's gonna be pointless. So that's how they always seem to know exactly where to find it. But wait, if that's true, it means that taking the Aquanium with us will expose our own location. Would you mind showing me that Aquanium for a second, please? Sure. Uh -huh. Their radar is probably just a receiver, one attuned specifically to the wavelength of Aquanium. versus sending out radio pulses that bounce off the Aquanium and back to them. Exactly! Which means all we have to do is... There! This should block the Aquanium emissions. I see, I see. You mean you understand how it works? Of course not! But whatever they just did means that Radar can't find it now, right? Right! Well, that takes care of my concerns. Time to go. Yeah! Just you wait, Forest Land Army! Maybe it's just a matter of seeing so much water here, but this place seems almost holy to me. Blech, you're making me want to barf. Ah, uh, my head hurts. Mine too. Huh? Uh, it looks like a dead end. Nothing to do but turn around, I guess. There's water running down that hole. Think it's a water slide or something? Very funny, Prince. That's just a drainage channel. But it'll be a really fun ride, right? Yeah, absolutely not! I was a goner. What's wrong? 
I'm worried about what's been making all that racket. Let's call it out and see what it is. Huh? Hey! Come on out! Prince, please stop this! Huh? Done it now! It, it's looking this way. What do we do, Prince? We're cornered. a squid, don't you think? Does it really matter? Hurry up and take it out, Prince! Let the thief have it!
the heck am I? I don't recognize this smell. Ugh, this air is way too pure for my taste. I feel sick. Where's Thief and the old man? Got lost, huh? Looks like it's Biel's to the rescue. Mm hmm? Come on out! It's useless to hide from a fiend. A fiend? A, a real demon? Well, well. Just look at all of you crawling out of the woodwork. You really are a demon. What are demons doing in forest land? Huh? We're in forest land? Wow, this is awesome! I've never seen a demon before! You think this is a safari? Surround them! We can't just stand by and let these filthy demons invade our home! Oh boy, not this again. Don't tell me you guys are part of the Forest Land Army too. Nah, it doesn't matter. If it's a fight you want, I'll give you one. Watch out! The demon touches you? Curse! <laughs> Parroting that epi guy? Typical Forest Land Army goon. No! He touched me! It's all over! This. This is the end for me! Quit your whining! We have to protect our country! We can't let these despicable monsters corrupt our home! Say that again, you little. White Prince! Old man! Looks like you ran a little wild. Ha! That'll teach him to mess with the Fiend Prince. I say they could do with more punishment. <laughs> Please, I beg you, forgive them. And who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Longo, their commander. He helped me end Thief when we washed ashore. We owe him. Huh. My apologies for my youthful comrade's rudeness, Prince Beelzebub. Longo! How can you bow your head to a demon? That's enough, Udo. Your disrespect toward our guests beggars belief. Guess? You mean these demons? You're not thinking of recruiting them to the resistance. The re... assistance? Come. Let us discuss this further on the way. Sure. What exactly was Bread hoping to achieve through his coup d'etat? And thought he just wanted to seize more territory for Forest Land, but is that really? Yeah, that's something the four of us would like to know more about too. The swimmers? What are you doing here? What was that about how you'd never join forces with us? Or that line about how we'd never meet again, hmm? You pipe down! Are you gonna turn down a request from an old comrade? Huh? So this old man was in your band of thieves? No! I was in the rebel army! You mean to tell me you're that long ago? <laughs> That's correct, General Shiva. <laughs> I know how formidable an enemy you make. I'm glad to have you as an ally instead. The, the reason he was so strong is because he had our swimmers on his side! Papa, your face is all red. You keep quiet, Sonny! Now... Tell us what Bread's up to. His goal is to gather up the last five extant Aquanium capsules in the world, and use them to restart Garum, the Flying Fortress. The Flying Fortress? The former Peachy Mothership, which landed in Flatland so many years ago, after being modified for battle. It's said to have been the world's most powerful warship. It's unclear how much of this is true, but rumor has it that it took only three days for its terrible weapons to send Flatland. 
the world's wealthiest, most advanced nation, to the bottom of the ocean. So, it's better than even Zeyu's fortress? Without a doubt. If its capabilities require five times the Aquanium to power... W what will they do if they ever manage to get it working again? Well, Bread will have the power to bring the world to its knees. To hell with that! After breaking free of one oppressor, I'm not bending to another! I share that sentiment, which is why we... Longo! Excuse me. It seems I have urgent business to attend to. I will probably be occupied for some time, so why not rest up in the meantime? We'll take you up on that. We're awful tired from swimming here. Let's make the rounds of the camp. We should take the chance to gather whatever intelligence we can. All right. 